Leo, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio. We're going to go ahead and do your spiritual channel tarot card messages today. Come into the video, like the um, video, subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to grow the soul tribe here at Emperor's Light. So every time I start Leo's reading, I just want to be like, yo, Leo, <laughs> what, what is that in Spanish? Uh, I read. Yeah, so you may be reading at this time or you could be a clairvoyant. We're going to see what your current love energetics are and what's coming towards you in regards to romance. So let's get into your spiritual channel tarot card messages today. The sun is out. Beautiful atmosphere here in South Florida. Hopefully you're having a good day as well. All right? Let's let the positive vibes circulate, percolate. <laughs> let's get it, Leo. What's the message for Leo today in regards to love and romance? what's coming towards them in love and romance what are they attracting or what are they getting into at this time this could also be a self-love reading as well take the reading how it resonates messages for fire sign leo today what messages in regards to love and romantics semantics what's the love and romantic semantics what's going on <laughs> what is going on could be a joyful occasion for you at this time a birthday all right let's get into it maybe someone is around you having a birthday okay so leo season is coming up we have the world card fire sign energy sagittarius the traveler yeah this could be someone traveling for their birthday some sort of an expansion here mm -hmm. closing out old cycles Opening up new cycles when one door closes, another door opens here. Five of bubbles could be a relationship here. This is a love reading. Mm -hmm. This could be the relationship that you had with a Sagittarius. Ace of gems, a new commitment, a change up in emotions. Now it may not be positive. This may be, uh, I mean, it may not be negative. It could be a, a positive. This could be a new commitment coming towards you. Maybe a marriage. Definitely a solid foundation being laid here with the opportunity for growth here with the Ace of gems. This could be a new job as well new health journey of fitness as health is your wealth the ace of gems typically symbolizes some sort of a new windfall headed towards you right a new opportunity for success here for leo queen of gems yep after the ace of gems the queen of gems so yeah this is an opportunity to grow yourself financially your wealth this could even be gardening is what i'm getting as well yeah gardening to help uh you quell your emotions and look at that my actual gardening card right as you can see it's a flower <laughs> with a lot of abundance growing from it here so deeply rooted energy uh, maybe if you planted some sort of a seed in the past and you're just pruning or maintaining or editing right this could be a literal garden or this could be your career or your job or whatever work you do this could even be your health right your body strength card yeah strength inner and outer strength this is also beauty right I'm also getting some form of an intelligence here as well. So you could be you could be an alchemist or you're dealing with an alchemist. So this is the love of romantic energies coming toward you. For Leo, actually your major arcana. So showing up in your reading today, a breath of fresh air or a new perspective. So we have two aces. This could be some sort of a deposit or a download or a new business idea that you have here. Mm -hmm. Two cards being pulled, the sun. So double Leo. So yeah, showing up in your reading here, very strong very um it's almost giving like celebrity vibes so we have the the bravado we have the uh there's a gift coming towards you yeah it comes out on top of ace of gems so you have a, a a giant gift coming towards you this could be financially or this could be like something that someone paid a pretty penny for possibly a car or a home or something like that i'm getting a congratulations as well you have another ace showing up on top of the queen of gems so we have a very creative um uh, queen of gems she, she's either inspiring or she's getting inspired here. So we got three aces showing up for Leo. Very abundant energy. Nine of storms here on top of the seven of gems. So someone could be waiting on, yeah, waiting on a big gift to come through. It's fear, it's nervousness, it's mental health, sleeplessness, and all that type of stuff. This could be like, um, the, so the example that I'm going to give is like you have to water it or nurture your garden right or it's not going to be it's not going to grow right right it's like kind of like raising children even when it comes to health and finances you have to nurture it properly you have to hang one so yeah definitely someone someone's waiting around here seven of gems which is my hourglass card 
and then the hang one the hangman which is literally hanging around waiting on something or a pause could be watching something uh from a different perspective right the hangman is getting enlightenment or getting enlightened or it could be enlightenment for someone it comes right on top of strength so we're dealing with an alchemist here a scientist this could be a new discovery for someone let's see what are we getting we got one more row for leo here the high priestess yes yeah, spiritual awakening some sort of a manifestation uh strong accountability someone's learning their worth or their value here it's almost giving off magician vibes yeah mm -hmm. they're researching here um what else am i getting could be dealing with a clairvoyant intuitive or an empath we got the seven of storms yeah i was kind of getting secret advice because the high priestess doesn't really talk a lot right she can be a teacher right but that's esoteric information information or uh skills ideals that people are generally not used to right that's why the ace of swords is here as well someone could be learning researching or something like that what else we have for leo fire sign three of gems could be enlisting the help of others could be working with someone now this is a prodigy right prodigies usually have mentors right the high priestess the hang one someone's passing enlightenment down to you or you're working on enlightenment the prodigy becomes a master at some point ace of embers inspiration on top of queen so yeah you could be yeah either you have a teacher or there's some sort of a strong feminine around you or that's headed towards you this could be in regards to some sort of a love connection right pupils masters and teachers just don't teach and master and pass their gifts down to everyone that's why we have teachers pets right even kids that teachers don't like <laughs> get the hell out of my classroom we have the night of embers mm -hmm. so um yeah this is uh coming into one's own physical gifts this could be like rites of passage vibes it could be dealing with a traveler or a content creator or someone um it's you know night of embers gives off a sexual chip on someone's shoulder to me so this could be like um not necessarily a young person a teenager or an older person this could be like someone my age maybe they're uh adventuring or they're doing some sort of a pole dancing or a, a stripper or something like that um not to think about it in a negative context this could be like only fans or something like that it could even be yoga it could be traveling right mountain climbing dirt biking that sort of thing strong high intensity training gym memberships the full card yeah aries showing up in your reading so strong fire sign vibes showing up i just did the aries reading so you may want to watch that if you have aries somewhere in your birth chart moon rising venus it's actually my north node placement so yeah i'm jumping head first into an enlightenment here this could even be an invasion of dreams i had a reading maybe a couple years ago called uh the invasion um randomly out of nowhere aries popped up in a reading it just took over the whole reading mm -hmm. i even i think i um labeled the reading a blooper as well because it came out of nowhere but yeah definitely an adventure or jumping out of the window or starting some sort of a new project relationship business even let's check the major arcanas i haven't revealed your bonus card yet at the bottom of the deck is the world card so yeah traveling here or some sort of expansion this could be spiritual expansion maybe astral traveling here it could be on the on the internet as well World Wide web maybe you're researching different places to go right different experiences bring new experiences or the other way around new experiences bring different experiences so yeah your bonus message ace of bubbles oh leo the magician vibes i knew so you're getting all the aces showing up in your reading today so you have romance headed towards you or a new opportunity for love this could even be your intuition firing up at this time someone's definitely bringing some sort of a gift to you an offer here this could be relationship this yes yeah, it's, it's definitely giving off a relationship vibe this could be someone proposing um out of like in another country like maybe you're uh, from america someone's gonna if you go traveling someone's thinking about it seems like that's what's coming in they're gonna propose to you outside of the country or something like that or however this is resonating for you i don't know if you have any sort of inclination i was getting birthday vibes as well maybe someone's celebrating their birthday birthday outside of the country let's check the major arcana see if we can get any additional messages here for leo a lot of major arcana so yeah big developments for you 
Let me go ahead and do the aces really quick though. Aces, aces, aces. Man, what are you playing? Poker? Playing a card game? <laughs> so yeah, all four aces showing up in the reading. Very interesting. So new love, a new opportunity for money, a windfall of abundance, maybe a new thought perspective or a new way of seeing things. Um, embers, new creativity, new sexual passions as well. Yeah, so this is like a world or a wealth of opportunities opening up for you. The world, major arcana, so a world of opportunities opening up for you. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. Your major arcana, we have six of them. So yes, yeah, so some, some sort of a victorious moment headed towards you strong fire sign energy we have double leo and the strength and uh, the sun we also have the fool and we have sagittarius in the world yeah so heavy fire sign energy mm -hmm. strong i'm getting a strong foundation this again this is someone that's very beautiful someone very attractive that's headed towards you the sun card yeah they're very joyful very happy this could be a child even uh, or maybe someone younger than you or has a childlike state of mind 11 11 twin flame connection Balance the fool showing up, right? Yeah, they're coming towards you in a childlike state of mind or they have a lot of faith Yeah, this could be a spiritualist or something like that or a clairvoyant the world card a traveler mm -hmm. Someone that has some sort of an online presence as well high follower count or something like that high subscriber count or um, This is what's coming towards you. Maybe you're attracting a lot here yeah the high priestess and the hangman yes um strong intuitive vibes strong empathic vibes i'm getting a party again yeah a big party now again a party could be a group of people so again you could be having an influx of followers could be dealing with a clairvoyant, a clairvoyant that's coming towards you mm -hmm. now i'm not getting like uh sex magic vibes or like someone that's trying to like work your emotions or work your mental Mm -hmm. So this person may be trying to meet you halfway. We have other other messages we need to get to before we close out the reading. Your high court cards, Knight of Embers. So yeah, this person is traveling towards you, 12-12, in a very passionate um, sway, I'm going to say. Bars all throughout this damn reading. Queen of Embers. Could be a feminine. So I don't know if you're a feminine watching this and you're having a best friend that's coming towards you and providing you with a lot, a lot of opportunities, keeping you happy. Some sort of an assistant here. A business owner and entrepreneur uh, if you're a male watching this you have a wife coming towards you some sort of a strong feminine very supportive right again they could be an entrepreneur or a business owner three of gems so we go from the three of gems to the queen of gems yeah they're, they uh, have leveled some sort of a mastery here five of bubbles wanting to experience new love here emotional confusion this could be like going from crying to laughing or vice versa. Yeah, so it's, there's a lot of experiences coming towards you. Um, not necessarily getting a whole lot of bad vibes. Now, we do have double sevens here. Seven of storms and a seven of gems. So, um, this could be a strategy that someone's trying to implement coming towards you. Some sort of a gift or an offer. Um, I'm not sure if you have history with this person that's coming towards you. There's definitely been some sort of a change. Maybe you're showing this person something new. If it's not a romantic connection, I mean, this just could be fans, right? Or what do we call them? Um, groupies or something like that coming towards you. Maybe you're showing your collective or your group of friends something new. Nine of storms. A little bit of nervousness. So this person's uh, coming towards you or this love that's coming towards you could be something, yeah, the five of, of cups or five of bubbles with the nine of storms. This could be a, a little bit of hesitation, a little bit of nervousness. You could be giving someone the butterfly guts or the bubble guts or something like that. But definitely very positive um, reading here. All aces showing up. Yeah, you have a windfall of abundance headed towards you somehow. A lot of a lot of uh, passion, a lot of creativity, new thought forms, right? Uh, seeing, okay, I'm getting clear vision. So I'm not sure if you wear glasses or something like that ace of swords uh um vibes yeah ace of bubbles new love right yeah seeing something clearly intuitively here mm -hmm. someone's becoming a clairvoyant or their clairvoyant gifts is firing up they could become could be becoming more spiritual as well right they're valuing themselves i'm getting a lot of self-love vibes uh double leo showing up in the sun and the, the sun 
and the strength. So this could be a Leo, King of the Jungle vibes. Mm -hmm. And the Ace of Gems. So yeah, um, sturdy foundation or maybe some sort of a windfall of abundance or a new job or a new opportunity. I'm getting to be yourself. Yeah, so this could be like some sort of a self-love journey or um, maybe someone's opening up a new YouTube channel or they're about to get monetized through social media. I'm also getting um, sp a sponsor. Yeah. Yeah, so someone knows you has groupies or sees you has groupies or you have groupies headed towards you. So there's an opportunity for love. You have your pick of the you actually have your pick of the litter. So that's what I have for you here today. Yeah, social media vibes, a lot of talk and a lot of gossip, a lot of thoughts here. You're going to be able to cut through the mess with the Ace of Swords, right? The truth, the new perspective, right? I'm not sure if you need to make a decision. But that's what I have for you here today. Fire sign Leo. Uh, I like that energy. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel so that it continues to grow. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.